Hello, and thank you for listening to the Skate Filet Podcast, the best skateboard podcast in the world. Today is Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019. I am Andrew Ariano, joined by Grant Fierro, Andrew Nicholas, and Michael Medina. Yo, Chocolate <laughs> Skateboards welcomed Hakeem Ducksworth. Quack, quack. <laughs> they did. The it question did. is, the question, Mike, do you feel like he's a good fit for chocolate? Yes, I think he's super sick, honestly. And I think he's refreshing for a brand that we've kind of been seeing the same thing from for quite some time. Did you see that switch flip he did on that uh, triple set? Yeah, the whole part was really sick. Do you, were you were you familiar with him before this? Because I'm gonna not I'm not gonna lie to the people and say that I was. No, I never heard about him. Andrew, you ever hear about him? Yeah, it's been flow for them for like feels like forever. Just, we, really? Just around the the contest stuff, and then yeah. never really saw a street stuff, but it was all solid. It was like all like definitely like a, an am getting intro type of. Yeah, thing. totally. I Ooh. like that though. I think that's like yeah. the traditionalist in me like likes that. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I I love what Andrew said. Couldn't be any more true. And I've I echo exactly what Mike said. Also, now the question I have is, where's he from? He's from LA, I believe. Mm. Well, it's foot switch flips like that. I don't seem like you're anywhere from there. You see that? It looked like he had them plunger feet sucked up real good. <laughs> you like? <laughs> where do you think he's from? Based off his switch flip? <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't know that. What? There, what? There, there, there's certain switch flips like that don't look like that they're done in America. You say really? You set your foot up right there. It'll make John no Dixon sense. got that Chicago switch flip. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, he does have a great switch flip. <laughs> Nah, that's true. I was familiar with Takeem from um, he's like Cavi Club, like Aramis and Devonte Jolly in them. Oh and no when, shit! When Aramis and and Hakeem used to be on DC too, and there was like a DC Cavi Club oh. video that Chris Ray filmed, and Hakeem is in that. That's right. Did he used to have like little dreadlocks? Mm, I think you're thinking of Smooth. I don't think. Hakeem oh, did. word, word, word. That's exactly who I'm thinking of. He's a Cavi Club guy, right? Smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was he also like DC hooked up? Smooth was, yeah. I don't know. He okay, might okay. still be. And that's I don't definitely know who he's getting right now. Uh, no, yeah, that's but that's sure. just where I'd heard of Hakeem before. But I was hyped on the intro. I thought the what I was hyped on was the Ender was cool to me that all he had to wall ride because it was pretty different oh, from the rest of his so skating. Sick. It was it was psycho, but it was different than the rest of his tricks. So it was I like cool. That. Just like, like he wasn't doing a bunch of wall rides, you know, it was just kind of like randomly he did a super bug wall ride. I noticed Grant starts saying "psycho." Is that the is that the new word now that's, that the kids are using? I like shit. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> when did I say it? Other than right via, now. Did via text. Oh, I did. Mm -hmm. Oh, talking about Carlos, that was psycho. It's psycho. Yeah, yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves though. You know, what I feel most guilty about is Hakeem skated Hollywood sixteen, yes. and I don't even know what he did because I was too busy looking at. I was like, oh shit, they painted the stair set. <laughs> Yeah, Drew, that's probably that's probably the standout trick in that part. <laughs> yeah, that's like I remember is, but it's like it's crazy because it, like it's been so murked. That trick's so good, but it's like it's just been so murked. Well, we stuff. gotta tell him what he did because yeah, Drew doesn't yeah, even yeah, know. I, yeah, I don't remember. I was too busy looking at the paint. <laughs> he dry. did front big board. Front that, big hasn't, big. that hasn't been done, huh? Just one of those that doesn't feel like it's not one that you think of on a big rail, but somebody's got a it. weird trick to do that. That's a risky big. one on, a, on that big of a rail. Big. Yeah, totally. It's a sacker for sure. Only one dude I could think of doing it. This is random, but Manny Santiago, because he does front shove into everything. Oh, that guy does like virial heel nose grinds and shit, right? Yeah, very hill crook. That's front wild. shove back five and stuff. It's pretty nice. What a weird trick to be able to control into things. Yeah, he's one of the only dudes that does that. Front for side? sure. For yeah. sure. No, yeah. Okay. Front big. He's like really, he does like very heel back smiths, Drew. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, I don't know anyone else who does them like that. Yeah. It's you know, it'd really be a sick trick strange. that I just thought of that I'll, I don't think I've seen is front big hurricane. Oh. Front yeah. big hurricane. Wow. Yeah, like a skate park bump the bar. That sounds sure, cool as shit. Like, dude. Someone in yeah, Montana did rad. it. <laughs> even like even like front big board hurricane would be cool. Yeah, Drew, you're not even wrong. Like some twelve some twelve year old kid in the middle yeah. of nowhere already did that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Probably like a kid at 
Like, uh, he's emailing Grant right like, now, typing really hard. Motherfucker. <laughs> Are you DMing me? <laughs> not my skate get park edit from 20 years. That'd be from so sick ago. if we really did get a DM of a kid fucking doing Someone's that. Gotta like, do a front big rap. hurricane. <laughs> that would be, be nuts. On that. That's that's something right there. Uh, oh darn, there was a topic. Oh well, I guess we'll have to let it go. You know, I really want to highlight somebody because this I said I shared it with Grant. I, I believe you pronounce it wabi design on youtube he makes he makes uh he's made a desk a conference 10 foot conference desk he's made pins and even made a skateboard out of recycle skateboards really interesting he deserves an honorable mention in this podcast i really have you guys ever heard about him never that sounds sick though which one was his, what's his name uh wabi design d cool, w w o b y design I had never heard until you sent it. Is he the the guy thing that, that I like thought was cool was table or something. What? Uh, say it again. Is he the guy that made the nine club table? No. Oh, okay. Nine yeah. club table was from the Netherlands. Oh yeah, duh. duh. Um, this you know, wobby. Oh, hey, go ahead. oh, I was just gonna say I thought it was cool. I mean, I checked it out since Drew sent it to me, and um, what I thought was cool. Oh, yeah. There's tons of people that obviously have made their like recycled skateboard art, like they'll make bowls or whatever, which I think it all looks tight. But the thing that I tripped out on with this dude was that he, like, I've never seen a board made of recycled boards. I yeah. mean, he ended, he skated it, it snapped, but it looked cool. <laughs> yeah, I was literally going to say that. <laughs> it, it snapped. Yeah, it snapped. It was funny, though, because he was skating flat out like that. I don't remember the upload when that was from. It had to be pretty recent because that's like a pretty popular. He was just skating flat, but he was at like a popular Manny Pad spot here in LA right now that a lot of people have been skating. Yeah, it was real recent. And you know, someone's already thought of that idea. Someone says we gotta take, you know, it's something like no board left behind projects. Yeah. They they wanna they wanna take the boards and recycle it. This guy took them all, made all the layers out of it. And the best part was it looks super cool with all the different colors that that board had on it. it but does of course look that bad. yeah. All all the recycle board projects have that type of uh multi multicolor layers. Mm-hmm. It, it was uh, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh well, <laughs> it snapped. <laughs> it, took a, it took a while. What was it like a heel flip, right? I think a heel yeah, flip I think broke it. it. Flip, right? Yeah. So please check him out. It's uh he deserves an honorable mention. And that 10 foot desk conference uh conference table he made was really awesome. And he actually uh you can contract him to do some work for you. So if you want to check him out. And he's also doing stuff really cool with local kids with a local skate shop. Really, Sweet. really dope. Uh, I got a highlight, you know, because I just saw this last night, still fresh in my brain. Is Tony Hawk doing a, a frontside three? Uh, Why is this everywhere? Uh, what? What? This fucking video is everywhere, dude. It's like on my Facebook and shit. My mom is sharing and tagging me in it. What the fuck? What, Tony Hawk? Yeah, Tony Hawk doing Your mom really tagged people. you in it? No, but I want my think My sister did, actually. I'm not even kidding. I think you're it's talking everywhere. about things. Drew was bringing up the three shut up nose grind. You're bringing up do, do a kickflip. That was like on the oh, mix. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we could talk about the Tony Hawk doing a kickflip. Uh, telling people, sorry. telling people to do a kickflip. He was pretending to be. I saw that's it actually in, in my notes. notes too. It's also yeah, in my I'm notes too. Yeah, I saw it in your notes, so I was like, oh, I figured that's what you were talking about. Yeah, no, the do a kickflip. Your mom tagged you in that, dude. No, my sister did, but it's fucking everywhere. That video went viral as shit, huh? Yeah, it's all uh, well. He does it all over San Diego, right, Grant? Yeah, he was in North County. He was in North North County. Yeah, first episode right. of do a kickflip, right? Like costin has been doing that for a couple months now. Yeah, <laughs> the best the best part was he was saying that he was costin. <laughs> <laughs> he told that one kid that. <laughs> <laughs> that was, oh man, that was also like random that Jeff that Jeff DeCesare was happy. Yeah, to how be did in. that happen? Yeah, and then that was kind of a cool moment. He said, "Yeah, we know who you are." <laughs> triple flip <laughs> Dude, you know I what thought I thought was funny was Peggy. Jeff was really like like do I actually have to do a double flip <laughs> Tony kind of was like now nah, you can just do a kick flip <laughs> like Jeff sounded kind of bummed if he was really going to make him do a double flip but I heard Mike barely when you guys were trying to talk at the same time uh, you, you, you mentioned Figgy yeah Figgy was there huh yeah and I thought that that was a cool moment because Based off of what Tony Hawk was saying, and maybe Andrew will remember in an interview where Tony Hawk was interviewed, he said, which rider, because there was a time where all of his riders kept 
leaving birdhouse he said which one hurt the most he said heath heath leaving and so i thought it was cool that there was no like strong enough animosity towards figgy because he was in the video it was kind of cool to see him together because he used to ride for birdhouse yeah well now it's all like baker boys so it's technically all the same family again anyone on baker is technically affiliated with birdhouse and vice versa so that's cool it yeah. came all back back around all those riders that left half of them was kind of still in the same house now where he went to them but pretty funny how that works out but the dude, I'm glad. sick i do a kick was whatever but three shove nose grind was crazy <laughs> <That's> <laughs> fucking insane <laughs> I need yeah. to check that out. So, were you guys saying that was just like Ride Channel uploaded yeah. a single clip of that, or was no, it like a no? No, they process? did a whole story as far as Tony Hawk's talking about why he likes skateboarding, the the challenge behind it, and he tells a story where he shares the process of how to get a skateboard trick. He says people, I mean, the trick he he threw a disclaimer. It's not the craziest trick in the world, but to him, it's a, it's a challenge and to him. It's going to be very, it's very satisfying when you land a trick after so many denies, so many attempts and not getting it. Yeah. He also highlighted on turning, he turns 50 or he turned 50 this year and how that's going uh, as being a professional skateboarder. And wow. I was still doing it. I just watched it. That was pretty psycho. Mm -hmm. It's that so crazy sick. when three shoves does he has does like a lot of shove tricks on vert when he's filming and shit. Way at three shoves, like the board's all four wheels down, like on the wood. Yeah, somehow, just like, sliding. <laughs> so crazy to watch. It just slides and then right where, like it right when he hits the coping, his feet are back on it. Yeah, it makes no sense. And I like try to pretend I can skate transition sometimes, and that just does not make any sense. <laughs> Mike, did you watch it? Oh, for sure, dude. Hey, so you you grew up playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater, so it, yeah, in that game, you know when you would do a shove it a three sixty shove, you would actually be in the air past the coping. Yeah, for sure. So it's it's kind of weird to see like it not even. But like you, you would you would three shove just like it would go above coping or something like it couldn't slide like that. Yeah, yeah you weren't able to control the board like that. You got to yeah. talk into the mic. You weren't able to control the board like that. It's kind of funny to see like Tony Hawk already like shoving before the coping to get on the coping. So crazy. Hey, Mike, how those cuticles going? You good? Yeah, I'm looking great. <laughs> <laughs> Grant, this question is for you. Yeah, what's that? Do you still not follow Brandon Beeble? <laughs> I don't. But but Do you? To, but to fill everyone in on what this is even from. Drew was going through either. old old Skateflay episodes to re-upload them to our new new YouTube channel, which Plug we'll it. be doing the Plug show it. live on soon. Plug it. What? Plug it. Plug, oh, it. Plug it. Yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> YouTube.com slash Skateflay. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> and we, we watched an old episode where I said I didn't follow Beeble, but there's a time in between then and now that I did follow Beeble. Uh, <laughs> but he was then unfollowed, <laughs> and he's not currently followed. <laughs> What did he do to deserve an unfollow, Grant? I want to stop it. Hold on, hold on. I'm answering this, Andrew. Uh, what he did to deserve to get unfollowed was number one, stop posting skateboarding. Number two, only post the gym and him like out at clubs partying with girls. Oh, I guess that's pretty much it. But I just don't care about that stuff. So okay, you want oh. the smoke? You want the smoke? Oh, that video is hilarious. That's classic. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's the worst thing and best like Instagram came and changed so much in skateboarding. But one thing it really changed is like you can have this image that girl and chocolate like made of these people and you believe they're this way and yeah. Instagram comes and shows you who they really are. Like, yes. oh, shit. So true. So true. So true. Yeah. I love it. Preach, oh, brother, preach. Years of marketing just down the drain of these companies building something. <laughs> really yeah. Awesome. I mean, props to him living how he wants to live, but it's just not right. like that. I don't want to follow that shit. Right, yeah, exactly. Man. Yeah, you think Brandon's over there just naturally buff, doing kickflip nose grinds, <laughs> and nose naturally nannies. buff. <laughs> and then you realize he actually spends a good amount of time at the gym, breaking glass tables, doing handstands. Oh, oh you saw that, Drew. Hey, I'm not that far off the game, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh, Grant. Let's talk about your big beef over the week. 
Grant has a cook big, him? He has, <laughs> Grant has his chef hat, baby. He has a big beef with Bronson Speed Company. Yes, I do. Floor George. Because all right, so here we go. There, I have I have screenshots right here because they took them down. They got scared. <laughs> they got scared, but my phone's got them. All right, they posted the other last week. They said orange is the new red. Bronson Speed Co. G threes are an upgrade from bones bones bearings reds. Only a little more dough for a hell of a lot more speed. And then the next day, they posted a meme. Uh, I'll show it here so you can see it. It's this old Drake meme, which is just random in the first place. No, show, and it's, show, it again. Uh, show it again. Here you go. So you can see it's Drake like skipping the Andales, and then he's like whatever hyped or whatever on the raw Bronsons. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was trash because it's just trash. Like your company care. should speak for itself. Like you have the, an insane team. They've been they add people like multiple times a week like they have so many skaters and if their product's that good i just think it's a really whack way to try to push themselves out there by like posting their competitors and tagging them and it, I did, the whole thing was just weird okay so you don't you don't approve of any skateboard brand talking trash about another brand in general i would say no i think it just looks bad it just made them look like unprofessional and whack to me Maybe other people thought it was funny, but I don't know how many people saw that and were like, oh, I'm going to buy Bronson's right now. Like that Drake meme was so sick. I don't okay, know. Let, me ask, let me ask you something. When, when have skateboarders ever been known to be professional? Are, are we wearing <laughs> are we wearing suits? No, are, but are on going, Instagram. Are we going there, to work on time? There are a lot of skate brands on Instagram that put a good amount of effort into like having consistent, like specific image. Okay. And, that's and fair. Th that that's was just point. random to me. Like even... I mean, you can make the case like, okay, maybe that's what they want their image to be. But mm. my response to that would be they've never posted like that before, number one. And number two, they deleted those posts, okay. which the yeah. weirdest thing about them deleting it is that they had two posts like that. Like, it wasn't like they posted that first one and then someone was like, whoa, like, how did this get approved? This needs to get taken down. It was like the next day they posted another one. And then the next day they took them both down. Yeah. I think that the taking them down thing is the number one thing here because that means that somebody was like, yeah, that's probably not a fucking good idea, right? <laughs> it's weird, so, though, that it took that long to take them down. Well, yeah, yeah but that, I'm saying, like, going off of what you were saying, like, clearly that's probably not what they were trying to do as a brand, right? So, I mean, obviously somebody pulled the plug on that fucking... Somebody high enough saw it and... Paid exactly. Yeah. yeah, totally. Well, they waited a whole day for the... For the first one to go down, yeah, whoever, whoever whoever was doing social media managing over there is probably uh, got a fucking uh, an earful to say the least. How about that? <laughs> the Drake one got six grand, six likes, six thousand likes. Damn. The funny thing with those, is like, it's already bad enough when a brand's marketing is like, oh, better than the rest. Like, don't. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> but when somebody just comes out and is like. Oh, look it. We're better than Bones. We're better. And then Underlay responded, even though, like, Underlay is, like, you know, not the top tier company, but their funny response was, like, oh, suck our balls, like, into the ball bearings we're showing, you know? Yeah, like, that's sick. At least creative, and at least, like, they have the space to come back because they started some shit, but it's like, why? Who was like, hey, this is a great idea to post on Instagram? We're under a huge company who's killing it and let's make ourselves look really stupid. Yeah, that was kind of my thing is that like they were they're killing it. Like I kind of I, hey, like I just feel like they have so much they could do other than that. Like why do they do that? Who's the, who's the dude in the background in here? <laughs> a roommate. <laughs> Looked out and then went back in. <laughs> oh, I do. I love when that happens. That's so funny. Um, but no, yeah, it's any chance they don't need to do that type of stuff, and it just feels tacky. It feels like your local like board brand is trying to beat out this. Don't yeah. buy from big guys, like buy from us. Like it just felt so dumb. Is Andrew Cannon the brand manager for uh, Bron Bronson as well? No, I don't. I don't think so. so at all. But somebody is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so two days ago, two days ago was April first. Uh, I was April fooled, but not on skateboarding. Uh, but there was some April fools that went on that I wasn't aware of. Grant, what happened? Yeah, I mean every year, I'm, companies always take advantage of it. It's, I mean, this talking about social media, like this is a great way to <laughs> definitely bring attention to your company. Social media episode. Uh, 
chocolate you got a lot of people they introduced louis lopez <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> <laughs> it was just like a it was yes. Drew loves it. Is it, it was just a red it? Oh man, that's amazing! It was just a classic red background chocolate font said Louis Lopez, and then you swipe, it. and then it was a photo of him and Kenny Anderson. Um, I love it. Uh, that's not true. A lot of people believed it. There's a slap thread. Louis Lopez is all chocolate. There's tons of comments. Uh, um, actually, Hakeem, who we were just talking about, I saw he commented on it. Like, I really hope this is true or something like that, which is funny. Um, that was when I remember uh, S had like a collab commercial with Crocs. Just like Schmatty skating in Crocs at the courthouse. Um, Tori Pudwell <laughs> or oh, someone for Tori Pudwell. Who, chocolate? Yeah. Oh, bummer. Oh, I'm sure there's they, screenshots on Slap. Did they take it down? That's a bummer. All right, what else happened? Uh, S and Crocs and then Tori Pudwell like <laughs> photoshopped oh, yeah. an article that? about him being in the Olympics. <laughs> That was was awesome. That was like my favorite one. That one looked really good too. Like, I mean, all I pretty much all these did, but um, yeah, I don't know, Andrew or Mike. You guys remember any others? Uh, I think you got all the ones I had. I like pointed out. Yeah. What about the barracks? The uh, Terry Candy has something special for you. Didn't. What's weird is that part already came out. Yeah, I don't understand that. It was an you April that too, right, Grant? You was that an it, April Fool's thing? I don't no. know, but did you notice that what got cut out? I didn't watch the new version. Oh, the new version literally doesn't like you know how like after he lands a trick he says like Thrasher for life or something like that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, they cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, why did it get posted like a week ago and then now it's on the barracks? I have oh, genuinely no fucking idea, and I yeah, think you know that, what you know what's hilarious to me about that part? How old the footage is? One. Yes, number two is that he walks inside that building. He opens the door, goes inside of it, opens Closes the glass door, and walks breathe. out front, and then throws it. Like, it was so unnecessary. Like, he didn't have to go inside to throw down. Like, it didn't help him have any more runway. He just wanted to be inside that building. I just want to be inside. It did nothing for him. <laughs> I have a feeling that, that someone from the Bears was like, hey, uh, you want to read? Do that whole thing and get more views type of thing versus Muta skateboards. No offense to Muta skateboards. What does that mean? Does that like what's the name of the brand? Muta or something? Muta. Muta. Yeah, and Muta. Muta. Like it's a Spanish word, or I don't even know what that means. I feel like it is. That yeah, dude, Vinny Bond skates for them. No, oh, that's that's Andrew's favorite skateboarder. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. Birds, dude. Um, but any. <laughs> <laughs> no, that part was that part kind of got you stoked because like, oh, a little bit of cool Terry, like a switch front yep. board, a big old front board. But then it's like, yep. oh, like it's not Terry. It's all yep. And then you see his Instagram post of him doing 50 50s and kickflip front board sides in slow mo and shit. I have a crazy story I'm going to have to tell off air <laughs> to y'all. <Aww. laughs> Sorry, viewers. Yeah. We, uh, your ears can't listen to this. A crazy story. But it can hear what Mike liked this week. What did I like? What did you like? Wait, I, I, mean, I thought I thought you guys had a recurring segment. What Mike tells what he liked. Yeah, we do. Dude. Oh, I have like my favorite thing. Of the what week. do you call it? Like we're, we're not there yet because it's going to be Carlos. And we're, are we really about to talk about Carlos already? Okay. All right. I guess that's a highlight for Mike's week. Oh, then, fuck we, yeah. We could, in the meantime, we could talk about <laughs> Seva and his. Oh, wait. No, dude. Oh, shit. Highlight of the week for me. I'm sorry, dude. Sasha Daly for sure. Fuck yeah. Oh. Hey. Oh yeah, dude! I was stoked on this one, bro. There you go. So I hyped. I've been a big Sasha Daily fan. Remember, Grant? Ever since the fucking full cab down Hollywood 16, <laughs> I've been like, yeah, a fan, right? It's true. And you back in that Thrasher cover where um, it was a spot in Louisville, in Louisville, Kentucky, where it's like a fucking dam or some some kind of water thing. I don't fucking know. <laughs> go check the Thrasher cover, Sasha Daily. Just Google that shit. And it's a like he kick flips into this bank, right? Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, like it's not a thing. It, you like a normal person wouldn't get up there and think to do that. Like just rolling in the bank is a legit fucking terrifying, right? Let alone climbing up 
I don't know, fucking eight to ten feet, and then going in kick flipping into it. I hear it's you. like yeah. literally just in fucking insane. And we went there, I guess, like shortly after he did it, and we like saw a bunch of like like wheel, like you could tell where like impact came. Like, you know, like the wheel marks and shit. And I was just like thinking like, what a fucking psycho. The fact that he tried it more than once (laughs) blows my fucking mind. Quick, you want to hear a quick story about the first time I ever saw that dude? Of course. The very last ASR that happened, Crossroads was outside. They had a contest with a double set. Like it was a double set and a gap to rail. But it was like a double king grail, but not one you'd hit the whole thing. You like gap to the bottom. Anyways, he killed that contest like cap front board. And everything the week after was street league in, or a few weeks after was street league in arizona and it was the exact same double set it was like they were testing it out at this crossroads but it was literally the exact same double set in the rail the very first street league which was i always thought was so weird because i was like this is a cool obstacle and then literally in arizona the next week i saw that again like, <laughs> but that was the first time i ever saw it, it was great it was like that and he was gnarly then obviously so. right Dude. Another sick Sasha Daly story is I have a, a clip of him that I filmed on my phone. I went to a super demo in like 2013 or some shit because there was the huge flyer that said Chad Muska on it. So, I mean, you already fucking knew I <laughs> you was had there. To be there. Yeah. Yeah. I had to be there. So I went there and I got a, I got a back-to-back clip on my phone of Sasha doing uh, front 180 switch 50 down the hubba and then Muska right back fucking no slides it. <laughs> yeah, Sick, the right? Muska no slide. Yeah, fuck yeah. And That's my friend Corey is filming it. He he had like he had like a like filmer homie, so he's like down there like actually filming at Fish Eye and shit. And you should see, like you could literally see this fool like turn his head to the camera and just like like fuck yeah, dude. I just <laughs> yeah. fucking Muska slide. Fuck yeah, you know. Did, was he wearing the high tops? Um. Yes, he was definitely wearing high tops. They were like like um. Uh, like the Kanye Nike fucking colorway, like they were sick fucking colorway, but I mean they were still sky tops. Yeah, fresh. <laughs> but now let's get into talking about Sasha. Seven. Oh, seven now. Yeah, okay, we, we gotta talk about seven. This new okay. series it came out with. It's called L.A. Days, episode one. What is this? Where is this L- at? It's called L.A. Days. It's in it's seven skin L.A. Pretty much because he lives over I, there. I mean, like, what platform is this on? Oh, YouTube. I, I apologize. This. Mm-hmm. Oh, word. like his? He has a channel or something? Yeah, he has a channel now. He's gotcha. going deep. He's going deep in the channel. I think he has to. Yeah, get the good move for him. Exactly. I think he probably has a pretty decent audience on YouTube. No, he kind of came from there. He's like the, the Chris Chan scene and shit. Exactly. It's funny you mentioned that because Chris Chan all, also makes an appearance on there. Yeah, it's like his. It, didn't he like live with him or something? Right? Like I did. Like, for some reason, that sounds right. He did. Yeah, he he. Had, Seba had nowhere. Seba talked about that as well. He said, "Yeah, I came over here, and he was staying for a few weeks, and then." Is this old video, Drew, or I, this like, is a new no video? A new video. He's talking yeah. about old times, though. Yeah, and so yeah, so uh, he was talking. He's giving love to all the homies, and it's he's even driving now, and his accent's gotten so like his his English accent so good now. I could bear. I was like, "Is this the same guy? Like, is this his brother?" <laughs> always wear a hat. Uh, he's you said on Red Bull. He always wears a hat. Yeah, always on Red Bull. Never drinks it, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, he's gonna talk about. Uh, I think the next series, which I'm looking forward to, is he's gonna talk about why he doesn't ride for blind anymore. Oh, cool. did he like hint at, at that he being the next episode? Mm-hmm. That's actually yeah, 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 really yeah. interesting. Whoa, whoa, too many people talking. I heard Mike. What'd you say, Andrew? I said, is he going to be honest about it? Or what's going Dude, on? Right? <laughs> why? why? Story, and I want to know if he's going to tell that on a YouTube channel. That's pretty gnarly. No, well, he said he's going to talk about it. <laughs> I'm down to listen. That's for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, he just had a little skate a little skate park session over there. Um, I forgot the name of the park. I'm sure Grant knows it. Did you, it's the uh, uh, shoot. It's the Carl's Jr. one, but I don't remember. I'm drawing a blank on the name right now. Lafayette. Yes. Thank you. Lafayette, yeah. Uh, I also noticed that he likes to punch his... When he's his talking? Own. Yeah, when he, yeah, 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 people, he's talking. A lot of people you know, do that Like when they talk. Maybe he was a little nervous or do something. You think, yeah. I was going to say, do you think that's just like him being on camera and him trying to like get through it, you know? Uh, I don't know, but he's just like, yeah, you know. You know, when you're, talk- <laughs> you're at the club, you say, what's up, girl? <laughs> 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 hey, what you doing, Drew? Oh, I'm just kicking in my caddy. You know, <laughs> you know how we do it, bro. 
<laughs> he's, if he keeps beating the chef his hand, he's gonna, gonna look like this a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Gonna be... <laughs> Drew, can you make you need a you need a I have a story with Seba actually. Out. Since we're talking about set, I do have a Seba story. They had a Red Bull triple set at um come on, Andrew. What's the name of that? The it was at a hotel. No, it wasn't at a hotel. Or was before that one or after? Nope. It was in San Diego. Uh, I know they did. Yeah, sorry. What's the name of that theater in North Park, Grant? I didn't go to that one. I only went to the one that was at the hotel. Oh, anyway. He actually so it wasn't at the observatory? Yeah. Uh, thank you, brother. Oh, it thank was? you. I was not gonna I was not gonna get that. <laughs> I was at the observatory. And actually another funny, funny story. And I brought this up when Jeff Chesare was on our podcast. They were scanning the Red Bull triple set, and Tommy Sandoval was one of the announcers, and he kept calling Jeff DeCesare, Def Jeff. I guess he thought he. <laughs> Tommy not skating. <sighs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Poor kid. That guy. <laughs> I guess he thought he was deaf. I don't know why he thought that. That was hilarious. But Tommy Sandoval was super hyped on Def Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I think he's deaf just doing all these. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but the set, I brought up Seva. He uh, he he uh, he recognized me, and he, uh, I asked him for a photo, and he was really nice and really cool about it. And I asked him if uh, we could do an interview. We never did the interview, but maybe one day. He'd do it for sure. He's, he's, a, he's a cool cat, really cool guy. What, Grant? Yes. You need to tell me about these defining parts. Oh, yeah. Mike brought this up, actually. Mike, I'll, I'll just say what Mike texted me. He said... What did I say? Was I drinking? <laughs> That's all, only you know that. You texted me and said, if I think Jamie Foy has had a defining part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I, I recall. Actually, I, my answer might surprise some people. I said no. I don't think he does. Uh, no, I think... Okay, go ahead. Sorry, my man. I mean, no, you're good. We, we talked about Jamie actually, like uh, Andrew. When you were on a show, we talked about Jamie, and I said to me, like the number one craziest like j part of his is actually, in my opinion, not craziest, but like I would used to define him is his uh, whatever the barracks ones were called. Next new wave. That one. But goes. now, to me, that's like a few years old. Like he was still on Nike. He was far before he was pro. Um, uh, let's go though. Say go again, ahead, Mike. Andrew? Andrew? Mike first, go ahead. No, I'm just saying that part does fucking rule. And I think that for me, too, being a big Jamie Foy fan, I think that is literally the defining part for me as well. The fucking next new wave. The part that it was like essentially his first part. That's what seems crazy. That video, the Ty Evans one, was pretty buck. Just the Flat yeah. Earth, right? But it was so like, it wasn't as widely distributed. Yeah, a lot of people it was put on Thrasher. Still haven't seen it. Yeah, I know, but it was only put on Thrasher for 24 hours. It's not like you can go there right Jamie's now and watch it. It's, it. Jamie's part isn't on there anymore. I don't, I don't, don't believe so. Oh, really? I, I, for some reason, I thought that Jamie's like they only put Jamie's part up, but that it was forever. I could totally be fucking wrong, but for I'm totally under the impression that it was only up there for 24 hours, man. I'll look it up. I, I feel like Andrew's looking it up right now. Uh, I hope he is because I really want to know. I think it just. If Ty Evans ever listens to this, I swear to God, I didn't know that, dude. I think, oh, sorry, guys. I want to know, like, just based on viewer comments, how many people knew that Jamie's full part from Ty Evans' video was on wait. Thrasher? You, you gotta, you gotta wait a sec before we continue this because <laughs> it says the forty-eight hour viewing period has expired, but it lets you click play. Oh no! And so it takes you. Yeah, they took it off. Okay. Ooh, oh, I was Mike, so fucking Mike Medina is strong with the I would do no because I was gonna say, like, I remember me and my homies came home from the bar like not too long ago, and I was like, yo, let's watch that shit. Blah blah blah. And it, like, talking about it was nothing there, you know. Of course, is strong like, with what? the young Medina. I mean, dude, Jamie Foy is sick as fuck. Like, why would they not have a Sodi part mm -hmm. on their page? I still feel that way about Tyshawn as well. I'll make the same fucking argument there. I get it was Bill's video. Cool. He wanted, he wanted, he got the money from it. I get that. That's sick. I'm totally back and I'm getting money from right. it. But that's a fucking Sodi. They should have his part on the fucking page. That's my. Come on, dude. Are you kidding? Yeah. I'm going to go out here on a limb and say Blast is making a shitload of money still. Oh, off yeah. Of but. I don't think Flat Earth is making even close to that, so they should have oh, this. Yeah. 
I agree. But, but let's stick to the topic there. here about it being a fine part. Now, the next new wave, correct me if I'm wrong, that was the one where they had Ice Cube, correct? Yep. Naughty by I, Nature? Uh, Ice Cube? N- uh, I don't know the name of that song actually. No, no was it? No, 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 no. It was um, no Vaseline. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. totally right. My bad. You're totally right. Oof. Force is strong with Young Ariano. So I'm curious. <laughs> about, I, I remember that video part because one of the best things about the video part is oh, I know when exactly he what when he kicked say. that fucking leg up. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. That was an ender. <laughs> they should just they should have just faded out after he that. When over he, that rail when he somehow. Kicked, yeah, when he kicked that leg up. <laughs> Slow mo it. When he ate after shit. Black. That was my favorite. Oh man, that was funny. <laughs> uh the fine part, yeah. I'm with I'm with Mike. Next new wave. Okay, but I, think- I mean, what about in general? Like, what do you think of defining parts nowadays where a lot of people have um like there's dudes that'll go pro that maybe have only had like one part and they've had a lot of footage, but it's like throughout different montages or things like that. Like, do like you you're think- talking about Malta? Sean Pablo. Malto has defining part. Pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. But that's that. I mean, that, that everyone only knows him for that part. Would you well, not say that's defining? Yes or no? I'd say that's his defining part. But if but, you're saying that, like, but that's his only pro- real part, though. No, I mean, no, 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 no. I'm not you didn't watch run. his Nike one. I was gonna say I think that Malto oh, Nike it. part was the shit. Okay, well then I gotta get. I gotta that get front is legendary, dog. That oh. is the best trick on that spot. Oh, well, excuse me shit. from the Skate Filet podcast. I got something to watch. No, oh, that. At the time, the shit he did in that part was crazy. Now it doesn't stand, but at the time, that was like, yeah, oh, this kid's really good. So he, that kid's a solid, like, right at the end of there being people defining their careers. But look at, like, Jamie's fucked. The only problem with Jamie is they spread out instead of like making one mega part. We talked about this. Like he has so many parts for the yep. They like bangers for one big gnarly part. But yeah. I saw that Ty Evans one's probably it. We just, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna screen record it and send it off to you guys. I have it. I bought it. Yeah, I think I have it too. Actually, I have to hell go watch it again. Um, but <laughs> the music's a little crazy. Like think about Mason. Mason Silva's had a defining part. Fuck but yeah, was, agreed. Well, Really, before I think it was his element one, obviously the one before was still good too. So I guess he's right there still with it. But Zion, Zion's parts have all been good, but not that like. I think his most recent well. one was was defining to me. It was. I don't know. It just like I feel like knowing oh. and seeing the shit Zion skates. I agree. Person, he still his gnarliest part is yet to come. Like, okay, yeah, and I I think that's fair to say. He's yeah. so young. And like it's just like yeah, he's so young. Holy shit! I always forget how young Zion is, huh? The last part he put out just needs some. Uh, it needed more time, but he got hurt and all kinds. Of it stuff. was it so was, good, was, dude. Good. But if he would have had more time, <laughs> he could have definitely won Soden for sure. But that's that shit happens, man. Shit, injuries and all that. I you know it's all over here. He was in like the Saudi talk though, so I feel like at least he was like top like two solid. or top yeah, three at least. Say, like that's like I a solid. Like, get a Sodi one of these years. He'll have a year where he stays completely healthy and he'll fuck up Bowl Street everything and it'll just be like undeniable. He's the next level of ATV like where Grant Taylor was like, oh my god, this dude skates Street and Bowl. Like Zion's really next level ATV. Mm-hmm. Like he's starting out as an insane street skater and now he's about to go fuck up all these Bowl contests. Like that's fucking gnarly. It's true. Pretty crazy, but I feel like even like I shot can go skate a bowl really good, but Zion's like gonna be the first really top of but the. Fight. You can make a point that Ishad can street skate, like Zion could kill. Like you could call Zion ATV in the sense that he's skating, he'll like kill the streets and he'll kill like a bowl or whatever. But Ishad, I, in my opinion, I like Zion, and I like not denying his crazy skill, but Ishad to me is more well rounded within street skating in the sense that like. You don't really see Zion like skate a flat ledge or a mani pad, but his shot will have like tech tricks. In the I'm not gonna lie, dude. As a okay. Zion fan, I don't want to see him skate a mani pad or a flat ledge. I get that you want to see the power of skate, but Zion will learn <laughs> eventually. He's I want to see Zion. I'm, I'm not denying he could, but I'm just saying that I think his shot within street skating is more well rounded because yeah, you'll see a shot do nolly frontside flip switch crook. I hate the shit. And then you'll see a shot have a cover of like a, a frontside air in a pool. But I'll tell you right now, I like seeing Zion fly, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. like 
five years ago I shot versus a Zion of now. Like it just it's the measurements of skill is so different. That is <laughs> like, a really good point. Like the margins for like how much you have to increase, you have to increase your ability is like so much every year where before it's like, Oh, like I, I learned some shit this year. Like now it's like, dude, if you're not keeping up, they leave you in the fucking dust and it's sad for a lot of people's careers, but that's what the internet will do to you. It ain't VHS anymore, boys. <laughs> that front crooked grind was nasty by Malto. Dude, it's so sick. You it's know what's so really cool tight. is that they showed a clip that I was actually there for when he came yes. to San Diego. I, I never saw that footage. Yeah. So yeah. he does he does that switch nose grind. It comes out to straight. Bumped the bar at over there at oh, Sarah Mesa. Rick, yeah, you could have yeah, you could have been there, but you weren't available. Yeah, well, I was. We we're like out, out, a bunch of us were out street skating, and that's right. <laughs> it was like we were trying to <laughs> yeah. pull up oh, like yeah, ten people, right. yeah. and like Chris Ray and Malto trying to get a clip. <laughs> Everyone's everywhere. Hey Malto, yeah. what's going on, bro? <laughs> Let me see that front quick footy. <laughs> What's, What's up, Drew? What's next? Sorry, I was replying to a text message. Uh, how about we talk about Eunice Arma Ar Armani? We didn't talk Armani. About this already? It dropped last week, but we didn't really talk about it. What were we thinking? Oh, we skipped something? Drew, you gotta <gasps> talk or Mike, you gotta talk into the mic. I keep forgetting, dude. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh Eunice is the shit. Dude, I watched fucking uh Gary and he talked shit about this part. I thought it was kind of sick. I liked it. I thought it was dope. It's Gary. But Gary hit it on the head. Like the dude does the gnarliest clips in the fucking park. Like some ground breaking shit. But I feel like this wasn't like a Eunice trying part. This is like, oh I filmed some shit in my hometown part. Yeah. So, uh, that's what but I got I out of it really too, but it was that way when heavy. I watched it. Oh, he didn't. I thought it was this. I thought definitely thought it was like a hometown part that he just wanted to film while he was home and shit. But I definitely thought there was some super sick shit in there for sure. I thought the way he did the Smith grind 360 flip to forward looked awesome. Like, sure, we've seen it before, but like the way he did it was fucking awesome. That social media, man, shoot yourself in the foot posting all those fucking gazelles. You kind of do, but at the same, yeah. But I mean, you have to think like. He, the stuff he's doing on that bank to ledge, it, there's no way he's going to do it on a flat ledge. And so he has to, what, find, like, the perfect <laughs> bank to ledge? I mean, dude, I'm just thinking about, like, give it 10 years. The shit kids are going to do on rails is going to be fucked up. Like, it's just going to be insane. Like, the, so definitely kids, the shit they'll be doing on fucking ledges will be nuts. I think like, Paluzzi's already pushing the limits pretty far, dude. That's, that's what I'm – I mean, every – what, we have Mike Mo, we have fucking – Every it feels like every generation someone's psycho pushed the lead skating to the next level. So I'm sure it'll get there. It is already there. Like Stephen Lawyer and all that nasty shit. No offense if you guys like him, but that's yeah, just cool. Yeah, I like him. It's I possible. Like him. You know what I'm saying? Like all those tricks are possible. I, like, I, I like him when he's actually doing some skating. Yeah, not, me too. Not, not, not just doing, doing not skating, just spinning his like, body like it's a hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when he was doing like tornado tray flip, grind? Tray flip front feebles down handrail like handrails and shit in the street. Like what happened? Uh, what what happened? I don't know. Someone told him crossing his legs was dope. Someone told him those camo pants were a good idea too. <laughs> Sorry, Stephen Lawyer. <laughs> My bad. Hey, no, we're big Stephen Lawyer fans. We like Stephen Lawyer. We got no problem with him. It's just that shit is not for us. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, you guys, Grant, staying quiet. You don't want to get in trouble in San Diego. To <laughs> I, I'm still here. Uh, Grant, yeah, Grant, Grant where he'll get jumped by the famo. Yeah. <laughs> Demon's crazy talented. He'll still do stuff that's wild to me. Like he'll still do tray flip front crook. Yeah, that's fucked. He also does uh, what you call it? Front uh, side flip switch one eighty five oh. Yes, switch front yes. side. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that. Yep. Excuse me, baby. Yep. Excuse that, yeah. me. That's a. Yeah, but I mean, I, I've said it on here before, like body burials and whatever i don't i'm just not, not into it me. so if me that's either. how he skates then it's not like i think that I, it's just i don't like to watch that type of skating is that trend I, is that trend still going on or people still i don't doing think it? so from what not i see much but it's dying i saw a body burial today it was with the heart blood involved though. ew who it's called ghetto like bird <laughs> not really a body barrel though you kind of you you're you're bored <laughs> it's a body barrel and don't like nothing else <laughs> you go, look, and you go <laughs> let's talk, let's all have a a constructive discussion about using spotters. 
Okay, I like this. this. I've I've preached this for the longest time, and I'll continue to preach it. Grant thought it'd be funny to show me a video of a guy getting hit by almost getting hit by a bus. Wasn't there a video where the guy actually got hit by the bus? Yeah, Drew saw that one too. <laughs> yeah, I saw that one as well. I was gonna say, is that the one you're referring to? No, there was there's multiple. One. There's yeah. tons of them out there. Wait, can I clarify? I don't think yeah. those videos are funny. I think it's good for you're a good person to talk about it, considering you've driven. Yeah, buses. I've driven buses, and, and you're a skateboarder, is, and that is a scary, scary. When's thing. the last time you skated, Drew? Huh? When's the last say time again? you skated? Last time I skated, skated on yeah. a skateboard, or actually did a did a trick, did a kickflip. Oof. The year? All right, we gotta see one for the gram for the story, the skate play story. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't even, I don't even have a built skateboard right now. I just got a cruiser. Where is it? What are you talking about? You had all that. Fun. You had like a skate shop in your living room before. It's yeah, probably yeah. still in it. It's probably his garage now or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, well, we're deviating. We're talking about spotters here. <laughs> build a board and kick flip. Now spotters. <laughs> yeah, right. We don't want to talk about spotters. No, well, <laughs> Well, it's on topic list, and you guys don't have an opinion on it. You don't think using spotters? I don't know why people like would try something into the street without somebody looking. Yes, I'll I never understand that. that I, I genuinely feel like it's just common knowledge. If I'm being like, it's, it's just, dumb to not like. Yeah. Why would you not? You know what I just thought of, Drew? I haven't shown you this clip, but T.J. Rogers had a part a couple weeks ago in his intro. He full caps a gap, and there is there is homies are chilling like on the landing, and a car drives right by. He almost lands on the car. Yeah. Like so just, you're, see, they're chilling. Like it, yeah, no, it, no one's looking. It's, it's absolutely unacceptable. It's, it's just dumb. Like I just don't understand it, how it's it possible. Doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, the ones that are gnarly are the GX dudes. When there's some, there's people in the intersection sometimes, but some of the clips there's no one, and they're just going for. It. I'm like, bro, what if the car yeah, just fucking it? Like you're dead. Those dudes are psychos, though. Like they're not normal. Microphone, Mike. Those dudes. Yeah, those dudes are sick. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that kid that got hit by the bus on the Hall of Meat is very lucky to be alive. Yeah, a bus is pretty big. Yeah, well, pretty course. big. And, and down those buses, I could tell you guys, you can't stop on a dime. Oh, hell no. Air brakes don't yeah. work that way, folks. It does not work that way. When I'm you're just over there trying to service the Route 4 stop, you're like, all right, cool. Grand Avenue. Oh, shit. Fucking my bad. The homies underneath the front wheel. Oh, shit. <laughs> I better secure the bus for it. Dude, actually, this yeah. makes me think. There's a... Oh, go ahead, Andrew. I was saying, like, it's the building that gets put on the fucking ground, and that's a bus. Like, it's not going to stop. Dude, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. I was going to say, there's a cons edit, like, a couple of their Brazilian dudes, but they're in New York, and it's called, like, the L train. And um, sometimes I'll see the edit pop up because I have it, like, liked on YouTube. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to watch that because this one dude gets hit by a car and it's it the way it's filmed it it's really it's like it, it almost as if you were there like the car just pops out of nowhere and it's going so fast and he i think he dodges it like he barely doesn't get hit and it like i don't even want to watch that video because it's <laughs> it freaks me out to see it oh my gosh it's so bad i just don't i don't get it i don't know why you would skate into a street without someone looking sheldon malinsky also got hit by a car yeah, it's it, this is ridiculous. I don't know who that is. To, uh, he he was a uh, amp. Uh, he was in the new blood section, the oh, amp section. Gotcha. Rowback. Yeah, uh, zero dude with one eye. The rowback. Wow. Zero dudes. Let's get current. Who did Baker add? Tyson. Tyson Peterson. Dude, you know what's weird is that people. Microphone, Mike. I said, you know what's weird is that people were posting. As if he weren't like wasn't already pro. I was gonna say the same thing that I saw a few Th Thrasher did. They said pro. I was like, well, I mean, he was already pro. It's just on a new yeah, company a year ago. Yeah, that was a little strange. I'd agree. Um, I'm not saying I'm not hyped. I think it's a perfect I fit. Like, fuck, yeah, I dude. don't. I haven't heard a single person that said it wasn't a perfect fit. Right, and seeing like the board, like we talked about it already. We literally talked I about. The, I don't the think he. Already. I don't think he fits on Baker. I yeah, think right. you're just saying that. No, 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 no. No, honestly, I think he'd be uh, be better over there at a uh, at chocolate. Tyson that doesn't yeah. really make sense. Why not? Drew, Drew. I think I think Baker needs a higher Hakeem. 
and trade for Tyson. <laughs> they do what if there was trade? What like there is a trades, trades man. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying, the trade. UFC recently had their first trade. Why can't yep. Baker do it? Why can't they do it? It successfully worked, right? Someone needs to do that next April Fools. They both Ooh, won. Yeah, that, that is good. I like it. You know what? who should do it? Oh, great. Primitive you should do it because I want somebody I want way too good of an phone. idea. I want to hear the. I want to hear Paul on the phone. He's gonna be like, "Yo, we need a shot. We need <laughs> the best. We need a." <laughs> Dude, you just gave someone like the best idea. Yeah, you food. did. All right, Drew, you need to rip this, cut it, cut this little section out. Yeah, and then we'll follow I up for twenty twenty. Yeah, Grant needs to hit scooter. someone up off air. Mm-hmm. I agree. No, they need to give Aurelian Gerard. Plan B needs to give Aurelian Gerard the element for Nigel, because Nigel needs to be on Plan B. He does not fit element, and all of his homies are Plan B writers. That'd be a trade that need to go down. Ooh. You know, that's, that's a fair point. Wait, Wait, I got a question because I, I don't. Did Tyson come out with a welcome part or no? Nah, I think he's just filming out for Baker Four. Oh, no, you know you got to do that. You're right. But do you think he'll come out? Oh, you know what's gonna happen? They're just gonna take all the element footage. Nah, he already had his element. Where did thing. he come out? Uh, oh, well, not, he's, well, gonna he, he's definitely gonna have some element footage. I doubt he's gonna have enough time. When's Baker Four come out okay. next year? Deadline is supposed to be October. He ain't gonna get enough time. You go. He's already been filming though. He's already been filming. It's gonna be like Baker Three when Toya Candy did that. It's gonna be the same thing. You how many Baker boards he's filmed in that video part? Three. No, I'm telling you, it's not gonna be like that for Tyson. He hasn't skated element board in like four months. Tyson's been skating Baker boards all over the. He's been skating blanks and Bakers for already a while. Oh, okay. I actually thought that they were that they were gonna wait. Four months is enough to get footage for that kid. Yeah. I think Tyson could probably get pretty close to a full part or a full part by then. All right. Well, I'm just going to – you heard it here first. My eyeball's going to be on them boards. I'm going to be looking. I'm going to be saying, where's the element? Where's the tree? I'm looking for the tree. (laughs) Where's the tree? Um, I actually thought they were maybe going to wait till Baker Ford to make this announcement because he's been pretty open about it, like wearing Baker hoodies and stuff. See, Grant's dropping some strong knowledge, and I agree with you. I was surprised. They dropped the ball. They dropped the ball. Could have had a like a t- uh, Antoine Dixon part two. Oh, who's but you know guy? what was rad? I thought at least was it, they did the announcement at Griffith Park, and then it looks. I mean, maybe they made film the edit or something that we'll see. But like they all just got a session there. They I, I saw the tables of Chick Fil A. Like they all had sandwiches, and then they're at a spot, and they all just <laughs> skated together as they introduced them to the team. You see that? That's tight. No, no you, you see that was foreshadowing. For you what? Know? They were skateboarding and they had filet. Skate filet. Look at that. Uh, now we're talking about it. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Blew over your heads, but I wouldn't let it pass you. That's good, Drew. They uh they had to do it because Tyson boards would sell like crazy. So why wait all that time to sell yeah. for when they can just sell like crazy? Yeah. Andrew, you noticed someone uh, a former Baker Pro, or it seems like he's former that yeah. took took uh, out of their bio. <laughs> You can announce. I didn't notice anything. What are you talking about? That's all mm-hmm. you know. Okay. Yeah. Well, this isn't even like a rumor. Like it, you can, anyone could go on Instagram and see this. If you go to D Ostrander's Instagram, he has his sponsors listed, and Baker is no longer there. He, he had an error uh, with you Instagram. That just, happens. Yeah. Happens. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Or he might be gone. <laughs> he might. He might have said toodles. He might have got traded. We don't know where he's headed. About time. About time. Headed to death wish. The baker's gonna get Foy back. <laughs> My gosh. Uh, shoot. CJ supposed to be gone. I hear CJ supposed to say bye bye to Baker. I, I don't see that one happen. Like I'll be surprised if that happens. I don't know. Trade talk is I don't know. really interesting. I don't know. I'm just I'm just hearing things around here. I'm hearing things. What are you back in the rumor trade. mill? In the <laughs> rumor mill. Ooh, I love my rumor mills. Good to be back, Drew. It's good to be back. Let's start it up. <laughs> yeah, CJ. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if he has a part in Baker Four or not. Dude, I went to um, uh, Jaquan recently for the first time, and tripped out that he ollied that double set. Whoa, did he? The Jaquan double set where you land on the sidewalk, going to the street real quick, is it's oh, like- into the street. Well, you land on the sidewalk, but it's sidewalk and then street. And then there's the other side where people, where people skate the handrail. And he back 180 down that set all my, the way over my, the side. My heart dropped right now. I was going to say, I'm not buying him in another one. Hey, it's still here, Drew. <laughs> it still works. Um, no, my friend, uh, Sean, this 
kid from New York. He kick flipped that same guy. The one oh, I saw that clip actually. Yeah. Into the street. Yeah, that's so crazy. That's wild. That's wow. so crazy. People are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> People are crazy. We're just crazy. Hey, don't even look at the double set. They say here to street. Dude, that's nuts. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Special <laughs> guest. <laughs> better, better hide your Honda Civics before he hits the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> Yo, what what's, you, what's, what's up, brother? Did you crack open the casket and come up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, what's oh man. What's going on, brother? That's crazy you brought that up, Drew. I haven't thought about that in a while. When you hit his car. I didn't even remember that until he brought it up to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That was he, he crazy. You barely, barely remembered right now. That was in the bubble, right? Yeah. 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 We all, we all had to be Tyler. We were going to eat. You were there too, guys. Good. Yeah, we were going to eat at um over by the what's the train the by Union Station. There was like all those Mexican places over there. Oh. Yeah, but who was in our, I think Cody. You were you were all with Nick Dom Nicky D. Yeah, Nick Dom Pierre was there. Oh, <laughs> we skated Lincoln Park and then we were going to eat and then me I was in Drew's car. We're sitting at a red light and then all of a sudden we got hit <laughs> and then Drew was like, "Wait, was that Deshaun?" I was like, "What?" <laughs> Dude, hey, I love you, smack you, <laughs> when, when Drew got out of the car and said there was nothing wrong with his car, I was like, I don't believe you. I was like, you're lying. There's no way. He's like, there's nothing. I hit his shit so hard, I low-key got scared. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you played it off good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Oh, man. That's funny. Let's talk about Daniel LeBron, Grant, uh, and about, uh, <laughs> about Indy giving people oh, seizures man. with the logo. Dude, I don't even want this to sound like I'm just an indie hater or something, but it's just really like no matter what logo that I was, just hater seems like <laughs> Bronson did it to themselves. Indy, okay, it doesn't sit right on this. Uh, Indy did it themselves too. No matter what logo would be popping in like this, it would bug me. Yeah, I Daniel LeBron has a part. weird. Daniel LeBron has a, a new part for Indy. Came out. This isn't like this week, but maybe two weeks ago. And they have their the indie logo just keeps popping in through it like it looks like it's a mistake like it should just be there for the intro or maybe like last trick bam it's over like this is an indie part but it's just like throughout the thing all these indie logos pop up and I I was watching it like this is I just so make over sure you don't forget that it's an indie part oh well, you know, and to buy their trucks it was a little much for me personally skating and it was actually really good not a fan of the Iron Cross. In your face? Nah, I mean, I skate thunders, but that's not even... I don't even want to make it about that. I'm just saying that I thought that was right. super distracting. Yeah, we don't have to go too deep into it. We just want to give an honorable mention. Andrew, I know you're muted right now, but you got to talk about Madness Skate Park at it Roundup. Uh, shout out Trey Wood, the homie. He was actually... We were sponsored by the same brand. He was like this big. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what the no, it was good. It's super good. It's kind of crazy watching. Like, it's like a creature on steroids because all the kids are like, they're gnarly at transition. Like, they're the huge new wave of, of transition kids. And Clay Kreiner's obviously. So I, I, I heard a trick went down this week. Clay Kreiner did that was insane. Hey, Grant, what's that? Oh, my God. Thank you, 540. You <laughs> talking shit, but um. <laughs> No, but it's just wild that that whole team's super. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here was that. I'll send you the link later. You can check it out. But uh, but no, the the edit was nuts, and that whole brand. Do you, do you see him creeping in the background? He was uh, he went upstairs now. No, I, he now he went away. I'm telling you, he's gone. He's, he's, right there. Right. He's, right. he's back. He gets past me with that orange beanie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, the brand. I like, I kind of like Madness. When it first was coming out and it was like distributed through Dwindle, I was didn't know what to think about it. But it's kind of like got a sick little vibe, especially if they're all shredding. Like Trey and Clay are so gnarly and they're just a whole different type of ball skating. Like, dude, the transfers. If you've ever been to the Combi Bowl and just to see what Clay like transferred, that's not yeah. a transfer. It's not real. <laughs> <laughs> he created it. He created it. 
It's fucked. Only, I, only he could have skated and thought of it, huh? One thing I that nobody else who could do it. Yeah. Uh, about madness is that kind of what you were saying, like how the team is stacked of tranny dudes, like creature or whatever. It does kind of make sense though for that for madness to exist because it's all tranny dudes, but it's such a different look from any other like tranny company. Yeah. Um, but it also it still feels weird to me just it being through dwindle and like the people involved and the look of the company and the writers. I don't know, like it just doesn't quite add up to me. Way, but at the same time, they're actually killing it. Like you see a lot of people. Oh, the dudes are ripping for sure. And but the brand is like doing pretty well. It's probably dwindle's more exciting brand right now. I can't imagine anything else. Doing yeah. Better. You know, we need brands like that. Brands that don't make sense and you look at it. We need brands like that. We yeah, because then it makes sense. Breath of fresh air. I think it's air. cool, like, when... I mean, it was like, this is a dude on a brand, but, like, when Frankie got on Primitive, everyone was tripping on that. Like, oh, that doesn't make any sense, but I think that's kind of sick. Yeah. You, you yeah. know what? Just get everybody. Shit, get, a, get the vertical vampire on Primitive. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's oh such God. a good nickname. I love that nickname. That's amazing. Yeah, he's so lucky. He was just blessed with the be best nickname. He's lucky. He wants, Andrew wants that name for himself. <laughs> he's like, I want to be a vampire. He's so lucky. <laughs> he's all jealous. <laughs> Anybody jealous. watched uh, Christy NYC Chapter 1 on Thrasher? Oh, tell me about it. Tell you about it. Uh, so pretty much it's Aaron Harrington and this dude Pep Kim. That's your guy, right? Isn't that your I, boy? I, I'll always back his skating. He's yeah. Sick. Yeah, um, he's the only reason I. You're the only reason I know about him. <laughs> That's funny. what I got. What uh, you? I but they to... started it. Was kind of. It's kind of like a socks and accessories, but now it's kind of like a whole clothing line. Um, and this was they've been filming like pretty much about the past year. And personally, when I saw that it was coming out, I was expecting like max ten minutes. But it's like a twenty five minute like. Oh, there's a lot of skating in it. Um. But I thought it was cool. Like it definitely has a very specific look to it that matches the brand to me. Like it's uh, very consistent. Um, and there are some this kid Shane Farber. That's I've just seen a little bit and some cons edits that I think we're, you're going to start seeing his name pop up more. And he's super young. They also have an interview up on Thrasher with the dudes. Like Aaron interviewed the other dudes that skate for it. Oh, that's which cool. was pretty cool. Like yeah, and that dude Shane is only like 18. I don't realize he was so young. Um, and then Aaron has last part. And it, I mean, he deserved it. He had like the most footage. And I think that's like the most of his footage in one spot that has probably ever existed. He's had a lot of like montage footage and stuff, which is funny. We we're talking about defining parts. I would say this is probably his. Whoa. Um, uh, what uh, you would think him skating a single spot is defining? What do you mean? No, he is a full part. Yeah, but oh, okay. So I misunderstood you then. I, I was just saying that in the past, a lot of his footage has been spread out through montages. Oh, and okay. this is okay. like when you say one spot, you mean like in one video? Yeah, one place. Yeah, like this is all like he has a video part here. Anything stand um, out? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it to me is what's cool to me is that these are spots we don't see. Like he actually, if you follow him on Instagram, he'll post that he goes on like super long walks on days that he's not skating, and he'll walk like just through all these neighborhoods and try to find spots. And in his interview, uh, the cons team interviewed him, and he was saying like he doesn't like to ask people for spots. Like, he doesn't want to go to a spot that a bunch of people have skated. Like, his part isn't the craziest tricks. It's a lot of, like, board slides and 50-50s and ollies and stuff. But it's on spots that I don't think anybody else has ever skated. It's, like, with these weird bump-over bars, two bump-over bars in a row, or, like, a handicap rail and just random stuff that he finds and skates, which, I to me, is cool. And there's, like, a little more of a story to it. I back that. Um, that part, I, I think mean, that's rad. Because I didn't know, am I supposed to like a 50 50 kickflip now? Because usually you hate it, but on a round rail, it's like, ah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, to <laughs> me, it was cool. I mean, also, I always, I just think 50s look cool on a round rail, like when people do like the cross lock pinch instead of just yeah. like heel side. I mean, do whatever, but the cross lock that. one looks tight. And he, him flipping out of that, I thought was cool. But I know what you're saying, like in general, if you heard that trick, you'd be like, oh, it's a little kid trick. Yeah. But I backed that one. Also, crazy trick to me. He ollied to like a nose stall and then like dump trucked into grind down the rail. Yeah. Was pretty psycho. So far it was really good. I really like that video. What is that company? I'm not like, I'm, what is it's that? Kind of, it's kind of like turned into a clothing thing that he's him and one other dude started. Okay. I, didn't, I was so unclear of what it was. That's That was my one thing I didn't understand. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking afterwards, I was like, this is great. Like the video is good to get a lot of attention, I think, because it's a good video. Like people, regardless of knowing those dudes or knowing that company, like it's a good video. 
Um, but I think like it would be cool if they had something to come out like right now about like really what it is and what their products are just to kind of solidify in people's brains what it is. You know, yeah. I forgot to mention last week that I just want to mention real quick because I know Grant, you've seen it. Is the the Brute SF video, the leaked video? Oh uh, yeah, I've seen that. Jesus Christ, man. That 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 made me like fall back in love with skateboarding all over. Oh, man. really? Dude, that I didn't know was, that. That's that, cool. That was so insane. It's pretty fucking gnarly. Those it, are crazy. What, what, what are those what are the tall guys? One of the tall white guys, he's gnarly as hell. They just had a rough cut come out for that, actually. Oh, like all the raw footage. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah the rough cut on Thrasher. That's I wish I, man, that kid's gnarly. I don't. I'm sorry, I don't know. Who it was, a, it was a, Well, he was doing uh one of them is like because you mentioned fifty fifty kickflip outs. I was remembering that guy that the back feeble on that long round row and did a kickflip out on it onto the street. Oh yeah, that was really memorable for me. I think that's how my memory brought up it, but. That's enough about that. Let's talk about the highlight of the week. <laughs> First, Mike place. Medina, please share your thoughts and talk it to the mic. Fuck yeah, dude! The mic. <laughs> you talking about Carlos now? Yes, Carlos Habiro, or Habiro. I think that you have to be cultured enough to say it properly, right? Yes. <laughs> well, let's talk about a skateboarding. All right. What do you want to talk about? Come part. on, I'm this video like... part. This dude dropped the crazy. This is what you want to talk about. <laughs> this I dude gets the techest on ledges. Uh, does the techest tricks on rails. He switch does MEDs. Switch heel back lip. Switch flip front blunt. Switch, switch flip back heel tail to back open it up. Lip. Switch flip back lip. We've seen Shane do that a bunch of times. Switch heel back lip though. All I'm saying, yeah, that's that's true. Not I don't respect. remember seeing that one done. Down no, right. you're right. Um, yo, kick flip, switch flip front blunt, shove it is. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> that spot That's looks like sick. Really, really gnarly to wrap your head around that one. Do you know what's also, crazy though? Mike? You want to know? There was there was two things that um there was two. One was the like out ledge that he's back nose blunted. Oh, and then uh, switch. The switch back tail. Yeah, switch back nose blunt. And then uh the switch back tail. Uh, a couple tricks before that. Those are two like legendary spots that we've seen for literally twenty fucking years. Ooh. It's crazy to me that no one's done these tricks yet. Right, and it's it's also amazing to see that people because there's been a long gap since we've seen people skate them. It's mm -hmm. nice. To, it's nice to see that those spots are still around and people are saying, you know what, I want to go back there to the OG legendary spot. You yeah. know, what I thought was rad about the switchback nose blunt was how hyped, like how much Paul was tripping out on it, and that's a trick that like Paul's the first dude to do that trick down a handrail, and like him tripping on Carlos doing it on that spot. I was like, that's that's just wow. Tight. Look at Grant digging deep. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Always. and that's your boy when I'm over yep. here. Yep. It was over that uh, San Walker, right? He just filmed a switch flip back tail for Instagram. It looked fucking great. On that tall edge, too. Or was it? It was on the mellow one. No, he did switch so on the tall one. Yeah, but that switch flip back tail looked flames. He's on his way back, Drew. I'm hyped, too. He's on his way. That's the goat, really, dude. Let's be real. What, who is Sean? Paul. <laughs> it feels good to finally have it subside i'm just saying i love his shot but you're tripping if you think he's on goat level over, over <laughs> oh, i think his shot's the best skateboarder ever <laughs> okay so well let's let, let's dive a little deeper in carlos's part uh, i think it's really cool that uh he, he tributed this to his dad and oh, that's i didn't even know about that that's fucked poor guy it, yeah and it made me think about how many tribute parts have been out, and I can only think of one other one at the top of my head, and that's when Jake Duncombe, uh on his What If part, he tributed his mom. Can you guys remember any other video parts that were specifically tributed to someone? Mm, was there somebody that did it straight to Preston? Mm, not that I'm remembering. I guess you I could know. say I guess you could say the the Shane Cross one I guess but it would be his There was own. no one there wasn't a, one for Lewis I mean there's like videos dedicated to these people yeah, that's but, what I'm saying there's not like just individual parts there's like videos yeah. and demos and whole trip I want to say like one of Tori's parts after Lewis passed away said it at the end but it wasn't like oh, titled Oh yo that's a, that really sounds familiar to me as well Like it might be Big Bang or something like cuz I know Tori and Lewis were for sure close and I think like in one of Tori's things it says dedicated to Lewis mm. but uh anyone know what what happened with Carlos's father 
Mm-mm. I don't well, know. You, you guys haven't heard anything? Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. That but, was really rad. He had that jersey. Too. Yeah, that I know sick. that was cool. Like the intro was put together really well. Real well. The video was put together really well, dude. It was. I, I mean, agree. it was the print of dudes like Alan Hannon. That dude kills it. Yeah, he nails it. Always hey, does uh, a great job. Two seconds to go pick up this pizza, but I want to touch on the um, Carlos stuff. He, the stupid guy won't come through my gate, so I can go skate down the gate. But uh, <laughs> okay. I want to touch on the Carlos stuff when I get back. But uh, what else? Still got more stuff, right? Mm, uh, we're wrapping maybe. up after this, but we'll we'll give you time. Go get your little pepperoni. Yeah, I got two minutes. Hope has pineapple on it. Hope has you pineapple. Better not have pineapple. You better have oh, that we want to get into apple. this. Better not have that pineapple. Mm, pineapple. You know what's great on pizza? Before we get back to Carlos, sun dried tomato. Not pineapple. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say anything. I'll say it off air. Whatever. Tripping if you think that's trash. It's not that I think it's trash. I think it's something else. So, <sighs> so the the real topic, the discussion left is to say, is it is it the best part of the year so far? In my opinion, yes. Mm. Yeah, probably. In my opinion, I think that yeah, he I'd has say big yeah. shoes to fill for the rest of the year. I think that if he consistently okay. I, I was going to make this point when Andrew got back because I'm sure him and I will uh, either bounce off of each other or totally agree as we normally do. Um, I think that there's three things for Carlos Ribeiro Hibero to fucking win Saudi, right? There's three things that are really strong for him. His work ethic, we see a lot of him, right? We see a lot of Carlos footage throughout the year. We tri- traditionally, typically within the last few years since he's been, you know, out there, so to speak, right? His sponsors. Mm-hmm. primitive nike those are two sponsors that you fucking want because they're gonna back you right especially if you're in the limelight so right mm-hmm. yes i agree and number and the third thing what was I, I forgot where i was going with the third thing he's brazilian so he's got pop he's brazilian please so he's got pop but um <laughs> no there was more thing oh I, I was gonna say like the all-terrain thing that's what i was getting at like he skates Ooh. everything right like like he's literally skates big handrails and then does fucking really tech flip in flip out tricks in the middle of a line. He does for I mean, sure. That's wild, bro. Yeah, I'd say he's, the, he's the MVP of primitive right now, right? In my opinion, right now he is. Yes. Especially after winning Tampa. He's on one right now. I think I, I could tell you the formula for him to win Sodi right now, at least to make him like big contender. He's already won Tampa. Which I mean, it's mm-hmm. a contest, but if you're gonna win a contest that goes towards Saudi, Tampa's probably the one for yeah. sure. Um, he just dropped cra- debatably. I would say craziest part of the year so far. Um, for sure. Next thing, so. he's on primitive, okay. right? So primitive constantly is working on and putting out videos very consistently. So he's gonna if he just makes just stays in those montages. He doesn't have to be the 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 dude in every montage, but just right. has clips in him, and then has a part drop end of November. It could be hard to beat. Okay. Okay, so that okay, so that was the big thing right there. Is if you don't think if he doesn't drop a part, another part at the end of the year, no, he think- wouldn't. If this is his last video part, he won't win. But oh, if he drops know. another and he can have some clips throughout in between in those different primitive montages, Which, yeah, I'm sure he already he has win. clips that they can scatter. He just oh, hundred percent. I guarantee you, he does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just just playing devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, sure. just trying to verify Grant's point. If he doesn't drop another video part, he won't win. Sodi, in my opinion, no. Mm. If he drops that mid-November push, late November push, I think he's got he it. Has fucking time. April just so started. Not. This dude does not like you. You made a good point, Mike. He doesn't slow down. He's put oh, out so much footage very consistently in the past few years. For sure. Um, to me, like when I think of, I mean, Primitive is a stacked team, but Carlos and Trent are out skating every single day. They're constantly at the park or out filming. Carlos, and, switch back three over the table. I'm not going to be surprised if he drops another part by the end of the year. Defining moments of career. Switch back three over a table from flat. Well, the real real person we want to hear of is Deshaun. What did you think of Carlos Ribeiro's part? Oh, that's my bro. I love Carlos. It was amazing. I just watched it today, actually, while I was eating food. Okay. What, what, what stood out trick? to you? Huh? What stood out to you? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> He's amazing. Carlos is tight. What do you, you think, think it's the best part of the year from, so far? Yeah. Um. See, the thing with me is I, I'm. I would say yes because I'm a like I'm a big fan of, of things with like perp like really meaningful and like deeper yeah. projects. You know what I mean? Like that, I automatically loved it because of where his daddy passed away, and like I kind of been on a wave with like everything being really meaningful instead of just like a part or like of some bangers. Like 
I feel like that was like really different, and it stood out from just other parts that just hit the way. You know I mean, because it was it was way more special. You know, had a story to it. Yeah, so I don't know. I would say yeah. I I, I want that's how I want more parts to be is like more meaningful. You know, deeper than just tricks over a minute or a song. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I loved it, man. Carlos is amazing. He's a he's a great dude on and off his skateboard. So you think he's a Sony contender already? What'd you say? You, th you think he's a Sony contender already? I would say yes, but you know how that stuff goes. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's, it, it's still too early in the year to say, but yeah, yeah right now, yeah. best best video part, I, I, arguably. I mean, as far as that situation, like I said, you know how that shit goes. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I can't say too much, but. <laughs> but, uh, I would say yeah. But like Deshaun was saying, like I've been lucky enough. The part of what I have to do is like be around everyone all the time. Thank God, like somehow that's my job, like a part of my job. But getting to like everyone's cool, but Carlos really sticks out. Like his personality, he's one of those dudes who like will talk to everybody, make everyone feel cool. Like doesn't yeah. get away from a fan. He's the best dude when it comes to that. So when he already has that and he comes out with the gnarliest food. Like double like Yeah, I, I I agree. Just I mean, I've only talked to him a couple times, and like it, I don't skate this park a bunch, but I've been to the Van Huntington Beach Park here and there, and he skates that park all the time. And just uh, I was there last week, and he just seeing him like talk to all like the, you could tell like the local park kids was pretty sick. And he talked to everybody, and he's such a nice guy. And seeing that like the personality of someone having that. And the part being dedicated, and it being like the craziest part. Yeah, yeah, He's getting hype for him. A Andrew, Mike had a Mike had a question for you, or not a question per se. He had a he had a he, he had a statement. He wanted to see if you agreed or not. Do you want to repeat that, Mike? I don't I think we were just talking about mic, mic. microphone, Mike. I think we were just talking about the formula for Sodi and him having like exactly what he needed to do to obtain such a thing. He's, oh, he's up there. I mean, he did a thrasher part, and now he's going to have to do another part before the end of the year. And yeah, that's what we the only saying. contest that matters. I don't even know anymore. Who won last year? Tyshawn won? Yeah, I don't know. But so he's like, well, no, I mean, uh, I don't mean that it's the only contest that matters. I mean, it's the only contest that matters amongst, like, Skater of the Year voting. No. You're talking about Tampa. Yeah. Oh, no, he won. Fuck. Damn, Tampa was so quiet to me. I fucking forgot he won. I was just thinking about <laughs> I forgot he won that shit. Yeah, yeah. no, he's fucking kill he's on the road. Damn. I did not even he's off to a hot start. Yeah. I mean if he does one more part, which probably has yeah, to, because yeah, primitive always Um then then he's gonna be good. Damn, like Carlos is sick. Like I when I first met him, like gave me his number right away, like because I obviously met him through the Sean and YouTube. And then like him like we're like he's like hit me up if you need any spots or anything like and i hit him up and he responds to spots you know people will give you their number and never like you'll see <laughs> sometimes you see pros phones and it's like 375 text messages like never opened you're like god damn this dude's an asshole but like i feel like carlos is just the most genuine dude like just actually like dealing with and, and hanging out and talking to everybody even like little old me so he's a real good dude i love it <laughs> before we say our parting ways the the world wants to know, is there pineapple on that pizza? Hell to the no. Um, hey, there, my girlfriend loves pineapple on pizza, though. There's banana peppers, and the other one is jalapeno peppers. What about sun-dried tomatoes? Oh, those are good, but I don't put them on. Oh, oh no. Andrew knows. Those are so good. Hey, you got to have mushrooms and roasted red peppers, bro. Roasted yeah, red peppers, peppers is good. <laughs> roasted red peppers. <laughs> Hey, look, we have a little spinach shit doing the pizza. Yeah. Yes, I can back that. That's those, that's comes from those like build it yourself pizzas. You can hear it. That's the best question. That's the best question to ask. That's like, oh, yeah. like random topics. That sounds like a show, gentlemen. For Andrew Nicholas, Grant Fierro, Michael Medina, and Deshaun Jordan, I'm Andrew Ariano. Check us out on skatefilet.com.